the Omni light shadow parameters rollout. Let's pick on a light. And in here, we're going to come in and expand our shadow parameters. All right. So if our shadows are on, and they're on, I have two lights and both shadows are shown here. Then I can control the color of the shadow. So I can come in here and say, oh, maybe I want a green shadow, right? And so my shadow is now green. Even though my light color is not green, my shadow is. Okay, so I can go and pick any color I want, essentially. All right, I'll undo that. And I can also change the density. Now, the density uh, determines how, how darker or dense the sh uh, shadow is. So I'll kick it up to five here. And you can see how, how much deeper or darker this is than this one over here. So I'll kick it up some more here. I'll go 20. And so now you're starting to see how deeper color this one is over here as far as the shadow. So I'll go back to one. And um, I can also come in here and place a map. right? So I can come here and click on none. And I can put a dent map in here, for example. And then when I have the dent map on, it, it can actually uh, cause a roughage of the shadow. And we might be able to see this better here when we render. Notice how the, the dent map is affected. This shadow is putting all these little dents in the shadow. So we have the choice of putting a map in there. And I can take that map off if I like. I can also have the light affect the shadow color. This is used to blend the color of the light with the shadow. So I can blend those two together. Down here in the at atmospheric shadows, um, the atmosphere is things or atmospheric effects such as fog. Uh, and this volume fog to cast the shadow on the scene. If I turn it on, then it will allow me to set up the, the opacity. Um, of of the fog and the color amount of the fog of the shadow um, so it'll be blending in the color atmosphere's color and the and the shadow of color as well so so when I turn that on I can get the effect of, of when the cast the shadow from the atmospheric effect so when the light passes through the fog it casts a shadow okay so again you would have to run a render on that to see those effects so the shadow parameters essentially can deal with the shadows and can uh, deal with the shadows of the atmosphere such as fog